Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we're going to talk about my personal program for December 2021. This follows a classic layout, the A, B, C layout. There are three different types of workouts here. Each one of them is going to have their own mat. Program A is primarily a time under tension snatch program. We are going to start it with just five minutes of Turkish get-ups at a light to intermediate weight, that means sub 24K. That is meant to get all of our core activated, our shoulder activated, and our primary get up movement patterns going to prepare us for a long-term snatch. Normally, when you do snatches, kind of people have been maxing out for years at around 10 minute mark. That's because competition is at the 10 minute mark. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna go to a 20 minute mark to start. So we are starting with a light weight, 16 kilograms and we're starting at 12 minutes and then we're going to add two minutes each time until we get to 20 minutes 12 minutes 14 minutes 16 minutes 18 minutes 20 minutes we are changing hands every minute on the minute our pace is going to be 21 reps per minute so we have a metronome set for 21 reps per minute and we are not allowing any time for hand change so we are going to be doing a flying hand change so that we stay on pace and our breath stays the same the entire time. We're taking that normal 10 minute competition time or the secret service snatch test time and we're doubling it for fun. No other reason, just for fun. This is following into an idea that I started doing last year based on some guys that I know who do marathon kettlebelling where they push into the 30 to 60 minute time frame. We're gonna start at 20 minutes and we're gonna see where we go from there. So we are gonna build up to 420 reps, 21 reps per minute for 20 minutes. And then we are going to start adding weight after we get to the 20 minute mark. We are gonna start adding 1K at a time. This is possible because we have the Kettlebell Kings competition 35 millimeter adjustable kettlebell and we have 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have 1K jumps, which allows this idea to work. Our goal is to work this up to 24K at 420 reps. I don't know where this is gonna break down, but we're gonna add weight 1K at a time until I fail to do this. So think of this whole idea as a big test to determine what we're gonna do next. Once we find the point where we break down, we can do a couple of things. The thing that I'm leaning into right now is dropping two to 4K off and adding volume, adding time, and then walking it up towards the 30 minute mark. So there is a long lead in to this, and that's because I have a very bad knee from doing lots of stuff over the course of my life and having lots of knee surgeries. So we are starting intentionally super easy with this program, working on our breathing, working on our technique. We're not gonna use any chalk, there's no belts. We are doing this empty hand, what you might call naked in weightlifting, no belts, no chalk, no nothing, uh, and barefoot. So we're gonna see where it goes from there. Program B is a double long cycle with kettlebells. I have not done a double long cycle program in about 12 years. About 12 years ago is when I ripped my leg in half, dislocated my knee, had three knee surgeries, didn't you know walk for about a year, did two years of physical therapy, and then kept going to physical therapy for years after that in order to reestablish movement patterns. After last year's building up towards 60 minutes of long cycle with one kettlebell, I think that I'm gonna try this. The problem with double long cycle is that there's nowhere to go. You can't escape the movement. When you do one hand, you can twist your body, you can twist your knees, you can kind of work around a lot of issues. That's why single kettlebell is so good. When you go to something like double long cycle, double clean to double jerk, there's no longer anywhere for you to twist out. There's nowhere for you to escape. If you have an injury, we're going to find it with this program right here. Once again, we are using the Kettlebell Kings competition adjustable kettlebells for this. I tried to do this a couple of years ago, but with 2K jumps, it's actually too much. So 2K jumps on each kettlebell is actually 4K, that's 8.8 .8 pounds. And there are ways to do it, but my knee just kept not liking it. So I just stopped doing it in the interest of staying alive and not spending another $150,000 on knee surgery. Now I feel like I can try this again. 
So this idea is one minute of work with one minute of rest. We are not doing competition time right now. We are doing a test to look for the start of a competition program. We are going to do 10 reps per minute inside minute one and then have that one minute break. We are doing 20 total minutes, which means we have 10 sets of work and 10 sets of break. So our time under tension is actually the competition time, but we're only going to that 10 rep mark so I can evaluate after each set if my technique is good enough to go on. We are starting with the 12K, the 14K, then we're gonna walk it up because we have the adjustable kettlebells, we have 1K jumps. 1K on each side is 2K, which is 4.4 pounds. I think that I can probably survive that. The more steps that we put into this, the more likely I am to survive this training. I also have an idea to make these jumps even smaller. I have found some small iron plates that we are gonna put in there so that we are going to be able to make this 14.5, 15.5, 16.5, et cetera. So we're actually only changing 1K between two kettlebells for the whole program. Making the program long allows us to work on our technique, allows us to work on our breathing, our structure, breathing, and movement, which all add up to create endurance. And we're gonna build up and we're gonna look for double 24K. If it breaks down, if we fail to complete, what we are going to do is we are going to drop down two to 4K and we are going to start adding sets. And so we're gonna take it from 20 total minutes to 22 total minutes to 24 total minutes and we're going to build up towards 40 minutes so that we end up instead of with 100 total reps in 20 minutes with 200 total reps in 40 minutes and we're going to work on our endurance small sets work on our breathing and work on our technique so both of these are tests that we're going to use to try and work on fun stuff no real reason why it's just because my friends do this stuff and i'm really into the idea right now of building up towards 30 minutes for snatch, for fun, and working on my double long cycle because I haven't done it in so long. The final part of the program, program C, is the hard day. Both of these days, my main goal is not to rip my hands. That's the main goal. If I keep all the skin on my hands, then I can move on. This day is the one that's really gonna be a challenge. This is our mill squat program that is published with Strong and Fit. It used to be Effective Strength and Conditioning, but they changed the name of their company. This is the fun one because what we're gonna do is we're gonna be pushing 50 to 60 pounds. I haven't done 50 to 60 pounds in a couple of years because I was working all of last year basically on marathon single arm kettlebell for long cycle. So this should be fun. I can do the 50 pounds pretty easily. I did 55 today. And then the next workout, I'm gonna try 60. I am waiting on the new 8X super large weight sleeve, which is going to allow us to push to 80 pounds here. This is definitely the heavy day. This will be a lightish day, and this will be kind of an intermediate day. This program should balance out all the lack of direction in these two programs. A snatch is pitching, hinging forward and back at the waist and heaving, moving the weight up and down. The same thing with double long cycle. These are two of six total degrees of freedom that we train in. This has all the other ones. All the other ones are here in this big ass heavy weight. In this program, we have squats, we have circles, we have pendulums, we have shield casts, we have casting patterns, and we're gonna repeat that over and over and over again. We're going to work on our technique with the big heavy weight. The heavier the weight gets, the more important your technique becomes. You can't fake anything above 60 pounds. You can't just kind of muscle your way through it. If your elbows aren't in the right place, you kind of probably gonna tear your spine in half. That's why it's fun. I don't know, that might just be me. After we finish this program, we're gonna continue on with just what I like to call the holiday section of the workout, where we're going to finish this workout, which is 20 minutes. We are then gonna to transition to 100 sit-ups on the ab mat. Why? For fun. And then we are going to do some floor chest press, 10 total sets of floor chest press, max work. This really doesn't need to be here. This is just extra calorie burn for all the pie and cookies that you end up eating in the Midwest. And this is tons of legs. This is tons of legs. This is tons of legs. So this is no legs. This is just muscles that are kind of ancillary to the rest of this. 
The chest is really a stabilizer in the snatch. The chest is a stabilizer here. The chest is a stabilizer here. So it's kind of the least beat up muscle from the rest of the program. So we're gonna do that. I think it's gonna be a fun idea. We might replace this with a muscle up program if I can figure out how to get a high enough height inside this barn to put up a muscle up rig. Once again, just for fun. December is always a fun month for training. You tend to be traveling, so things need to be light. They need to be doable in small spaces and you need to be able to do them in a shorter period of time without a lot of travel. Family time obviously takes up a ton of time in December. So this program is designed to work around those things. This program is not designed to make you pretty. Let's talk about that real quick. This is endurance. Endurance tends not to make you pretty. Think about this as you know a 3K run or a 5K run. It's kind of treating it like a 5K run, but this is just pure endurance. If you wanted this program to make you pretty, then you would not do it this way. You would do volume cycles with heavier weight. If you want to be pretty doing snatches, volume cycle with heavy weight. Time under tension is just for the psychos. Double long cycle, same thing. This is not meant to make you pretty. This is meant to make you athletically efficient. I am just working on my knee with this program. If you wanted to make this program into a sexy like movie star training program, this would be a volume cycle with increasingly heavy weight with a heavy light day. This one would be single arm clean and press racking up through the weight, we're gonna have an upcoming clean and press program. That would be what you would shove in here. And then this wouldn't change at all. And then probably this wouldn't change either. Endurance does not generally make you more pretty. It tends to make you more efficient. The more efficient you are, the less ripped you are. If you wanna be very ripped, you have to be doing things that you're kind of bad at or weights that are super heavy so that you can really challenge your body. Time under tension, just like distance running. It's not meant to make you pretty. It's just meant to make you endure longer. And that's fun. So anyway, this is our program for December 2021. Obviously, at the end of each one of these workouts, there is going to be a 20 minute section of cool down. It'll be extend the spine, flex the spine, rotate the spine, because this is a lot of single arm kettlebell work, which means your rotation aspect of your spine is definitely gonna need to be stretched. This one, because of my one bad knee, I have to make sure one side of my spine doesn't overwork or I don't shift towards my good leg when I'm doing this. This one's really heavy, but I'm pretty adapted to the club stuff. So I'm not super concerned about this one actually hurting me. I'm more concerned about this one hurting me, but I am very interested in seeing how heavy we can push the weight on this program. I know that there are some strong guys out there who are moving 100 pound clubs. I only have up to 60 right now, but I am waiting on a delivery from ADEX and we will see what comes in that delivery so we can see if we can push this, you know, really far.